But I'd just love to share with you if you don't mind. We were playing that song, Hiding Place. And he lost this girl. She had come in late. She was an artist. Artists are always late. But she was actually performing some artists. And when I say artist, she was a famous artist. She was the equivalent of a uh, New Caledonian Idol, if you will. But before she was famous, she was just a young girl who loved Jesus, who loved her family, and who was a fan of Christ of God. And when she was 11 years old, she would listen to our cassettes with her Walkman as she walked <laughs> in her little schoolgirl outfit to school each day. But something had happened between 11 and 22. She wandered away from God. In fact, she had all but forgotten about it. You see, the, the trappings of fame and success really can be a monster. She had become really good at mixing drinks, really good at hitting high notes, and really good at getting completely drunk. So she walks in to this concert like maybe you did tonight. She hears that song. Boom. She's transported back to the 11 year old innocent girl who loved Jesus. Amen. And something hits her. What she has been missing. On the dead end street that she now calls her life, fame and success gave her nothing. I challenged her, just like I'm going to challenge you guys at the end of the show, to surrender up, to give it to God. And she prayed that prayer. But to be honest with you, she surrendered all but like 1%. Because you know, sometimes we try and hold things back. Two days later, true story, she wakes up at 6 a.m. in tears, repenting and giving God the remaining 1%. She gave her life to Christ. She said the same prayer, but this time she gave God everything. And she said, Jesus, I don't have a diploma, a degree. All I have is a voice. I pray that you use me. I just want to serve. I had no idea that this had happened. Two days later, we're at a church. We see a girl with an acoustic guitar. I say, hey, can you play? She said, yes. We? I said, let me hear you. And she sang a song. And it floored me. I said, we want you to be in our band. Ladies and gentlemen, from New Caledonia, Dina. Where are you, Dina? Yes, I didn't know she gave her life to Christ at our concert. Oh. 
God is so good. God is so faithful. Now we have the fruit of our ministry in our ministry. And reminding us of why we do this and who we do this for. But I'd like to have her sing the song that she sang for us. Our band is in the back her. And the song is called Yehova. I understand that you, you guys in Hawaiian, you call it Yehova also. So would you just sing the chorus so that they can get it? Yeah. 